Hi guys. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so tired. Good morning. <laughs> Hi, Carson, Brian, to the voiceover world, Alejandro, Casually Sandra, hi Julie, good morning, most likely Mah Man, Mahone, hi external <laughs> Lucifer, my birthday was awesome, thank you so much for asking, um, it was like the best, best day, um, I got to like drink coffee on my patio and only worked for a couple of hours and then I went to my favorite restaurant and met up with some of my friends and I went to my favorite bookstore in Los Angeles called The Last Bookstore um, downtown. It was amazing. Um, hi, hi Annie. Hi love, I know it's really um, long and flowing. Um, hi Jinxie and Erkin, David. Good to see you guys. Um, Scott White is here. Yay, Scott White. Um, some very talented voice actors on the line today. Julie Nathanson from Call of Duty and a million other things. And Scott White, who has just been smashing it um, in so many things, um, including uh, like Ratchet and Clank stuff and um, all, all kinds of projects. Uh, I'm very tired. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Kamakondo. Hello, Brazil. Um, and uh, uh, so I'm a little out of it. I went to Taylor Swift last night and did not get home until uh, two o'clock this morning. So, um, uh, hello, David. <laughs> um, and hi, Smith D. Sean. And Helgi Helg. Hi, Malik. Um, so yeah, we've got like great people on the line for some reason who are not at brunch on Sunday morning. They are here with us. So I am, um, I'm happy to see you guys. I'm, this is, uh, this is going to be a shorty. I actually forgot to close my store last time. And so I know that some of you guys have had some prints that have been languishing and so I just wanted to make sure that I um, got those signed and got those out to you because I would not want you waiting too long. So, um, T-Bone Rocks, what's happening? Um, oh, hi, David, that's right. You're from um, Tanzania, that's exciting. I love it. Um, hi, Dan Allen, how are you? Um, and uh, Lisa and Violet Moonlight, um, cheers, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. Hi, Luis. My favorite um, character from Sesame Street is Animal right now because my partner is doing some drumming as Animal for the new project, so I'm very excited. He is not here, he's usually my wonderful assistant for these things, but this is uh, gonna be a shorty, so I don't think um, I'm gonna need uh, too much help, maybe some brain help, but um, let's see. Um, if we can make it on our own, then we should break up. I'm Starla. Um, it's a little early for Starla. Um, Let's see, uh, have I heard of the new Starfield game coming out on September 6th? Is it coming out on September 6th? I have heard about it. I have seen some of the um, uh, stuff that's been online. It looks awesome. I'm very excited to see what they do. You know, I'm a big Bethesda fan. So um, I'm really um, looking forward to that. And uh, hi, Timeless Nalgas. <laughs> Kieran, um, hi Sonic, KO is great. He's floating around in my brain. Um, oh, sorry, is the Disney Muppets, not Sesame Street. Sorry, I was looking at your, um, uh, Sesame Street, it's Oscar the Grouch, obviously, of course. Um, it's always 
Oscar the Grouch. Um, and, oh, Funky Gnarly Bang and Vintage, one of my favorite websites and, um, and uh, Instagram accounts because I love vintage clothes and resale. They are also on the line, which is super cool. I have a little side project on um, Instagram called Courtney's Crushes where I just talk about resale and vintage clothes and all the stuff that I love on the side other than work stuff, um, punk rock and music and um, fashion and art and stuff. Um, uh, I have not been out on the picket lines. I am going out this week. I hope everybody is supporting the actors and the writers on strike. It's very important. A lot of really important issues that are going on, least of all the AI issue. Um, so if you guys are voice actors, please make sure that you are honoring the strike lines and, um, and please support um, I think the AI issue is going to be coming for everybody, so this is something for all of us to take a look at and make sure that we um, can utilize this power for good and um, keep the sanctity of human connection um, and what we do as human beings and what we what we have to do as human beings. Obviously, probably everybody has seen Wally, and um, that is uh, important important to um, not become those people. So make sure that you are moving around, that you are, you know, using your limbs, your brain, your heart, your soul. Um, it's, it's very important and pay attention to these issues because um, it has a lot to do with the way that the world in general will be going, I think. So, um, so thank you for supporting the strike, supporting actors, and keeping up on what's going on, um, especially creatives, but really everybody. Hi, Katie Sykema. Oh my gosh. Hello. Good morning. Um, do you like my shirt? Um, I went to Taylor Swift last night and um, it's actually secret. It's not my shirt. I actually bought it for Tommy, my partner, because he wanted a Taylor Swift shirt. So that's well, we did, because um, we need more dudes with tattoos and earrings, uh, long hair, wearing Taylor Swift shirts. Um, uh, T-Bone Rocks, you are right on. We must fight for good and not evil, and that is very important. Hi, Timothy Nolan. Hi, uh, DJ VRO 999X. Um, you guys, it's so good to see you this morning. Um, so yes, um, if you have t a time and you're in one of the cities where people are striking, it's also a great way to make friends. And um, so, um, yeah, do what you can to support. Please um, signal boost on social media and, um, you know, do what you can. Um, and then as far as, while well, I have you, as far as voting, just a little thing. Look at, um, so if you bought prints today, I always stick um, some Nerds Vote stickers in with your prints. That's not a sticker. That's a, I don't know what that is. Um, but you get these to say thank you so much for being registered to vote and using your powers. Um, hi, Sarah. Um, uh, so these are important things. This is available. This is our new patch that is actually adhesive or you can sew it on. It's a three by three patch and I'm so excited about it because you can stick it on hats and t-shirts and backpacks and stuff. So um, we've got some new stuff and very cool this weekend. If you are in Hawaii, the Owl House crew is at, I think it's Hawaii Con, and they um, are all uh, wearing their Nerds Vote shirts and talking about voting. So I'm super excited um, to have the Owl House folks as some of our notable nerds. And um, yeah, so please make sure that you go to nerdsvote.com and get registered to vote if you're not already. Um, it's so important and there is no off year and this is not an off year and next year is definitely not so um uh let's see hi ssv normandy how's it going and um uh and make sure that you also you can pre-register to vote so that if you're under 18 you can get um, uh, you can sign up and you'll get a reminder when you turn 18 on your birthday where you can go ahead and register and be ready to go immediately. Um, this is also I just want to show you this is what 
they gave us at Taylor Swift last night. <laughs> and um, it's still flashing. So fun fact, I went to E3 and Bethesda did something really similar with like a cool rubber bracelet and it, it um, lit up and stuff. And so last night when we had these, it was great because the, the whole stadium was lit up all different colors. It was an amazing show. And, um, but I thought when we left the stadium that they would turn off, but it's still going. So I feel like Taylor Swift is still with us. She is still like, hey girl, what's up? So I'm using it to talk to her. Um, I was like, hey Taylor, thanks, great show. Really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, so you can grab any of the Nerds Vote stuff on nerdsvote.com. You can register, you can check your registration, you can pre-register, all that good stuff. Um, I saw JG Quintel, thank you, uh, LJ the Hedgehog, AKA Sonic4576. I saw, um, we did a big group photo because they sold the Cartoon Network building. I'm so sad because I had such a great time there doing regular show and, and a bunch of other stuff. But they've sold the building in Burbank. And so like hundreds of people that have worked on shows for Cartoon Network showed up um, in the sweltering heat in the middle of the day. And uh, we all stood around for like a, an hour and a half or something and ended up taking this massive photo. And um, I was so happy I got to see Ian. Um, Jones Cordy and Rebecca Sugar and JG Quintel and Toby Jones and all of these amazing people that I've worked with over the years. And so um, I got great photos. Um, here's me and Sam Aaron, um, you know, Pops and Benson and everybody from regular show. I was so happy to see him. And then look, here's me and JG. Woo! So um, that was great. It was like a big old like family reunion. So that was amazing. And so, um, so anyway, I had to put this in a drawer last night. I know I'm jumping around, but um, Taylor would not let me sleep. So um, Cobra Ash, the next thing I'm working on, well, I just had a couple of things. Um, come out I'm doing a little directing which is really fun and um uh what stuff has come out recently oh my gosh I'm so brain dead um I'm trying to think of something that I'm working on that um well Destiny 2 is always in effect so that's fantastic um one of my I, I love working with Bungie they're so fun and so inclusive and it's just always an excellent experience. The writers are fantastic and um, I so appreciate them um, every time. I hopefully would like to get up to Seattle so that I can hang out with them in person. Um, that would be fantastic. Uh, Remnant 2 just came out um, last week and I'm uh, Kohi, Zohi, Zohi. Guys, I do not have enough. I'm so he in that project. So um, I'm looking forward to hearing that. And um, what else? Allie Hillis was not at Cartoon Network the other day. Neither was Bill Salyers. I was sad to see a few folks not there. Um, Grandmaster DS, speaking of voting today, marks 58 years since the Voting Rights Act, Act was signed into law. Go vote always. Yes. Thank you for that. You are awesome. Hi, Christopher Pacheco and Commander Shepard here. Um, so I'm going to do a couple of, hi, Pabu Star from Germany and Heath Miller, um, Soul Power. I'm going to do a couple of signings right now just so we have those happening because I want to make sure um, that we get those crack a -lackin. Um This is an Ada Wong Ada Carla combo print um, that I'm going to make out for Brayden. Um, we're gonna use a little silver pen here. Hold on, find. Make sure the silver pen works because they rarely do. Okay. Um, 
Brayden, you have a lot of quotes on here and we don't have a ton of room, so I'm gonna make this very small. Uh, let's see. Um, we're beyond sympathy at this point. We're beyond humanity. We're beyond humanity. Okay, then looking for me, boys. <laughs> um, and welcome to China. So I will write whatever you want on these prints, um, but sometimes it takes me a long time and I'm probably gonna screw some stuff up because I have not had a ton of coffee this morning. So, um, let's see, Anna and Carla. And I'm gonna go ahead and put Brayden's name on here Special spelling, B-R-A-E-D-E-N. There you go. What? Hi, Brittany, what's happening? So um, that is for Brayden, if you're watching. I hope you enjoy. Um, that's one down. I'm gonna just go ahead and click that as complete. Um, Let's see, did I see the YouTube video of the San Diego Comic-Con? Um, I'm sure there was a million of them and I actually didn't. I didn't go this year. Um, a couple of my friends went, they said it was great, um, but I definitely, um, I didn't have anything to promote really and so I wanted to um, just spend the weekend relaxing because it, it always falls right on my birthday. I either am on my way to Comic-Con on my birthday or I'm at Comic-Con on my birthday so, uh, Brittany's watching at work. Brittany, make sure that you do not get in trouble for screwing around. Um, hi, Emilio. Um, and uh, external Lucifer, hi. Hi. Um, I don't eat donuts. Thank you for wishing donuts for me, but I'm not really a donut person. I always feel like it's kind of like, I mean, don't get me wrong. In certain times I will need some sugar and I will be all over it. But um, for the most part, I'm not like donut. I'm like cake, um, cookies, other things. But I'd rather have french fries, honestly. Sarah, am I coming to San Antonio, Texas? Well, my family lives in the Dallas area. So I hopefully will be coming to Texas soon, but I don't know if I'll be actually doing anything. But San Antonio is an awesome city and I would actually love to be there. Um, let's discuss my, um, Taylor Swift shirt right there. Taylor Swift. Oh, wait, uh, the Eras tour. I can't do this. Guys, I am struggling this morning. The struggle bus is like parked outside my house, but, um, external Lucifer. Thanks for signing. Oh, Brayden, that's you. Hi. I'm so excited. I'm glad you got to see that. Um, we're going to do, uh, um, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do another Carla and Ada. Um, so I have a Scorpio, an Aries, a Virgo. Um, everybody is giving me all of their uh, their signs. I don't actually know very much about signs. I do know that um, Scorpios are intense because my mom is one. Um, hi, Jessica Sherman. Good morning. Um, Scorpios are secretive and like passionate and um, all that stuff, which is gross when I think about it being my mom, but whatever, you know what, carry on. Um, <laughs> um, Jessica, I went to see Taylor Swift last night. What? And it was an amazing show. Um, we are gonna, um, I know Scorpio. I know, but talented and passionate and secretive and um, I think, I'm not sure, but they have a hard time saying sorry. 
I don't know if you're a Scorpio, maybe you can confirm this. Um, I don't know anything about Aquarius. Um, uh, let's see. Yes, Emilio, I know. I wish we were back to going into into um, agencies for our uh, just coming in to do auditions because I hate doing my own auditions. It takes me forever, forever. Um, this is for uh, this is for Sarah. So Sarah, if you're the Sarah that's online right now, this is for you. Um, if you would like me to write anything in particular on this, because um, uh, it's yours, so go ahead and pop something in the chat if this is for you and you're online. Otherwise, I'm just gonna write to Sarah. Love, Ada, and Carla. Um, hold on, let me do this. That's my name. Sometimes I forget to put my name on it. So, Sarah, if you are here, I can also put a little something here in the corner if you are online. So, let me know. Let me just check. Um, I love people that come onto the stream that are like, mm, unfollowed, bye-bye. I'm like, <laughs> great, bye. Um, there it is. Sarah, you're all set. Um, circle back. Hi, basically, Doug, or um, who else? Who else are we doing? That is complete for Sarah. Um, and... Sagittarius. I do like Sagittarius because my boyfriend is a Sagittarius um, and some of my best friends are Sagittariuses. So uh, that is fantastic. Um, generic C, good morning. Hello, wherever you are. Hello, hello. Um, oh, I have some questions. Hold on. Um, let's see. I am not doing any podcasts right now for the moment. I'm pretty full up with some personal stuff. So um, the voiceover world, I'm sure you will get lots of great people to come onto your show. And so you can always circle back around. Um, a Disney Mon, what's my favorite Disney movie? Um, Fantasia probably, because it's old school and it's the first one that I remember seeing. Um, and I loved the like different vignettes. Um, and my personal favorite superhero, Oh my gosh I mean it just depends on the iteration I really have loved the uh, I mean I love Wonder Woman who doesn't love Wonder Woman um, but I like you know villains um, I like a lot of villains I always like people who are kind of like on um, like striding the line between straddling the line between good and evil um, my favorite color right now is orange but it changes all the time. Um, I have these <coughs> fantastic orange roses that they look red on screen, but they are orange. Um, but I'm really into a lot of color right now, which is weird because I usually only wear black and stuff, but I love pink and I love orange right now. Um, hi, Zachary. How are you? I'm excited to see you guys. What else? What else? Um, let's see. Uh, JCA, hello. Um, for a long time, Ada Wong was a favorite character of mine, but Scarlet Rose from Call of Duty took Ada's place. Well, you know what? There's room for everybody, which is cool. Um, uh, so you can have two favorites. I'll let you. <laughs> I can never choose one of anything, so you always get, like, top three. Um, let's see. Um... Do, 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 do. Favorite Marvel superhero or villain? I'm gonna say Hella. Yeah, because I also love um, uh, Kate Blanchett's version of her. Um, and villains are so much more fun to play basically, Doug, that is so correct. Um, what was the most satisfying thing about the Destiny franchise? Hmm. Um, getting to play two very different characters, I think. 
um, you know, uh, the dichotomy between Amanda Holiday and, uh, you know, um, getting to play her who's so simple and um, she comes from such humble beginnings and she has this, you know, she's lost the parents that she loves and then getting to play Kyle, who is sort of born into royalty and, you know, hates her father and um, just getting to stretch both directions, I think was really amazing. Um, the whole storyline with Lance Reddick was really poignant um, and sad. And so that, I would say, wasn't like a favorite because it's so sad, but um, was really touching to me. And um, I was honored to be able to get to work with him, even though I didn't get to work with him in person. Um, uh, I don't, I'm not a huge Starbucks fan, even though I'm drinking out of a Starbucks mug right now. Um, I am uh, uh, more of a Pete's girl, tell no one. Um, and I don't really like sweet drinks that much. So I'm just drinking black coffee, um, but it's Intelligentsia coffee. Uh, and it's quite delicious. It's the El Diablo blend. Go figure. Um, the puppies are good. Um, the puppies are sleeping right now. Uh, Lulu is always yelling. She'll probably wake up and start barking about something. She's always hungry now. Um, but uh, she is still trucking along. She has thyroid cancer, but she's great. Um, she's 14 or 15 at this point. So, um, so yeah, bye basically, Doug. Thanks so much for stopping by. Um, and no, Dennis, I have not played Fallout 3. Um, Grandmaster DS, when playing Fallout 4, I love choosing the sarcastic options since they're hilarious. Um, they were definitely my favorite part to do. Uh, I do love, um, the writing and how much fun we had with all of that. And I loved that, you know, um, Brian Delaney, who played the male character voice was so he's like more earnest and, um, and I got to be like, lean into the more sarcastic stuff. So it was really fun. I felt like they kind of wrote to our strengths and, um, and so I, I really like that. How did I get the role of Wicked Witch in Lego Dimensions? Um, I believe that is courtesy of my friend, my colleague, my director, uh, J.B. Blanc, who is a, an incredibly talented actor. Um, uh, he's great. Um, and I think he just thought that I could do it. I don't, I don't remember if I auditioned or not, but we had a great time doing it. It was an honor to um, even try and replicate um, what Margaret did. So uh, yeah, it was, it was a really fun run and getting directed by J.B. Blanc is always a pleasure. Um, he's really, he's really a fantastic director and actor and overall person um, uh, and just a testament to excellent, you know, really learning the craft of acting and how it serves you in every aspect of the work that we do. Um, you know, so if you are an aspiring voice actor, please make sure that you are training all the time. Um, if you can't go to acting school, which I, you know, I totally understand um, and have sort of created my own curriculum over the years, um, make sure that you're taking classes of all kinds to really understand the whole craft of acting because a lot of people think just because they can do funny voices or imitate people that um, that's what we do and oftentimes it requires so much more. Um, so I tell my classes um, when I teach, you know, to always be doing your research, always be paying attention to acting choices and um, s characters, uh, character choices to break down everything as you would, uh, you know, an on camera or theatrical acting scene, make those choices so that you can really bring a fleshed out character to the work, even though it might not seem like it's required all the time, it's going to enrich your performance and people are going to feel it when they listen to you and they play the game or they watch the cartoon or anything that you are, um, you know, audiobooks, anything that you're working on. So 
always be learning. Um, I'm actually going to be teaching a, a one day class over at um, Strawberry Hill Music, which you can find online. Um, it's a four hour class. It's coming up on September 30th and um, I'm excited to work with them. I have not worked with them before and they're based out of Northern California, which is where I'm from. So I'm hoping to meet some actors from that area, although you can join from anywhere um, in the world as long as you can be there between I think 11 and 3 on September 30th. So um, that's happening and um, I am uh, I'm excited about that. So. Um, my favorite Disney villain is Maleficent. I have dressed up as her as Halloween on Halloween, um, but I actually love dressing up as villains for Halloween. I've also done Cruella, but um, Maleficent's my girl. Um, uh, am I a Pixar fan? Yes, I am a Pixar fan. I actually did some work on Wally -E, um, way back in the day um, when I was just getting started. And uh, I worked on the stuff that was for the big, by and large corporation. So I think you can still find some of that online if you dig deep. Um, and there's some, I think some stuff made it into the movie. Not entirely sure, but. Uh. I'm gonna do another little signing here. Who do we have next? We have um, for Elton, um, such a great name. Elton wanted this print of Jack. Um, and Elson would like it to say, if I die, I'm haunting you. So, um, to Elton. And I feel like that's not going to work for me. That's too, you get a brighter gold. Whoops. First mistake of the day. It's now a checking the pen page. Um, okay. This is better. Okay, here, here we go. Elton, we're gonna redo this already. Um, to Elton. If I die, I'm haunting you. Um, love, Jack with a little skull and crossbones, cause that's what I do. And then my name is Courtney Taylor. You know what was funny about Taylor Swift? She said several times, my name is Taylor Swift. I'm like, I feel like we all know that your name is Taylor Swift cause we all paid all this money to come see you. And we're here waiting in line and, and being here for three and a half hours. So we're clear on who you are, but I like that. So my name is Courtney Taylor. Um, little ode to Taylor Swift there. Um, so that's for you, Elton, if you're watching. I hope that this is uh, what you were hoping for. Um, and that is done. Let's see now. Um, Fox Infinity, hello, good morning. You should be here. Um, Brian Delaney also played Scarecrow from the Batman Unlimited. I did not know that. See, you learn th something new every day. So, um, uh, let's see. Um, I will do Francis from the Loud House. And then, I can't, uh, <laughs> okay. That was my audition for Francis from the Loud House. <laughs> It was actually a really great time. Um, I just was in my booth. Um, she has no lines, so you just kind of have to emote with, um, which is another great thing to take an acting class for because you learn how to um, convey emotions and feelings and words without words, which is difficult, right? So, um, and we get asked to do that a lot in this business. Um, everything from like Simlish, you know, um, uh, Kritzia Bajos and uh, Bill Salyers do amazing jobs doing Simlish, which is like so beyond my skill set. Um, it's incredible to watch them go and uh, to just something like Francis, where you have to, if you know, emote being scared or curious or hungry, you know. So all of these things are great to have in your back pocket because in auditions you will get asked to do stuff like that. So. Um, 
Guardians of the Galaxy, great musical choices across the board. Um, movie and the heavy metal movie is insane. That has a great soundtrack. Thank you for bringing this up, Zachary Nathanson. It's fantastic. I love, I love, love when music um, is featured prominently in TV shows and movies. Right now, I'm watching a show called Survival of the Thickest. And if you like hip hop, there's a lot of great, they play like Black Sheep and like 90s hip hop that I love. And uh, so it's, I'm always curious to see how things, um, you know, how people factor in music and what choices they make and how it reinforces the things that we're watching. So big ups to um, music supervisors everywhere because you guys are 100%. And um, you know, when, when people really allow the musicians to be a character, the, for the music to be a character, I think everything gets so much more interesting. So um, yeah, big ups to y'alls. Bye T-Bone Rocks. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, do, 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 My favorite Starla moment in regular show, um, B. Marvisi is asking, uh, probably when she's talking about muscle man should know <laughs> what she's thinking and what she's not thinking because I feel like sometimes uh, men and women are so far apart and um, I love that she's so like focused on herself that she's expecting everyone to know what her private logic is. Um, so uh, um, Zachary Meredith in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy was amazing. It was such a great experience to do um, Star Lord's mom. Um, really, really uh, hit host to, close to home as well. I'm, my mom is a cancer survivor. So it was a um, very personal session. You know, the sessions were personal and, um, and uh, I really loved that they made her so three-dimensional. Um, uh, Cara Walgren is great. I haven't seen her for a while. She's off, you know, flouncing, traveling the world. Um, um, but, you know, we, uh, we are going to connect as soon as she has returned to Los Angeles. Um, we are in the Courtney Taylor era. Mm -hmm. This is the Taylor era that you didn't know that you wanted. You didn't know that you needed. You're not even sure that you want it, but you're getting it. Um, <laughs> let's see, um, let's see, um, uh, Ms. Zircon from Ratchet and Clank. Ms. Zircon will sell you weapons, but you gotta be less conspicuous or the resistance will not last. Um, <laughs> hi, Pedro. <laughs> um, Let's see, I listen to 2000s hip hop. I listen to all hip hop. Um, I love, I love hip hop. Um, I actually just got a really cool book. Hold on. Don't go away anybody. I just got this, this is one of my birthday gifts. This is one of my birthday gifts. Love it so much. <sighs> Look at that. A hip hop jewelry history. Yes. It's so great. It's just, it's a big old beefy, but what? Because I love Run DMC. Um, always have, always will. Um, I have a um, signed comic from Daryl. Um, but this book is all about the history of hip hop and jewelry and just checking in with all of like these amazing artists and how the jewelry, the history of jewelry and grills and all that stuff. Um, it's like a really interesting, if you're at all interested in visual arts and costuming and hip hop and music in general, just I love finding out how people's tattoos and jewelry and you know all their self-expression factors into um, what they look like. And also shiny things. I'm a professional magpie, so I love it. Um, let's see. 
so yeah, that was a very cool um, birthday gift that I got. Um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, so sweet. This is for, um, I don't know if it's Reagan or Regan because um, it's R-E-G-A-N. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sign this one, which is the Psychotic Biotic print. And if you want anything, um, probably going to go for a little while longer, but if you want anything, you can go onto my Streamly. You can grab something real quick because I'm going to close my Streamly store for a while. Um, I have some stuff that I'm dealing with um, in the world that I just don't have a ton of time right now. And so I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, close it up for a little while. Um, but anyway, this is the Psychotic Biotic sort of sunset print. Um, this is um, for Reagan or Regan from your friend Lisa. And um, I think uh, your friend is awesome for getting you this. So um, I'm gonna say to Lisa, I will destroy you. I will destroy you. Kidding. <laughs> Love, Jack. Uh -huh. Full school and crossbones. This is Mary Picanese from Italy is the artist on this. And I very much appreciate that everybody, um, all the artists that have given me art or allowed me to use their art, um, I also give a portion of proceeds to the artists. So if you see something on my page that is by an artist, they are also um, getting some money because I really want to support um, artists of all kinds. So that is for you. And then on the back, I'm just going to write a little secret note here and say, uh, Lisa is the coolest. So that's a little secret message for you, Lisa, for doing this for Reagan. Reagan, sorry. Um, hi, Dr. Hassoon. Um, do I remember Seth Green who plays Joker? Yes, I do. I have met him before with Ali Hillis. We actually just went up. Hi, Lisa West, VP. Is it Regan or Reagan? Please um, put it phonetically in the um, in the chat because I want to make sure that if uh, they see this, that I actually pronounce their name correctly. Um, uh, hi, Royal Gay Mess. And yes, I know Erin Fitzgerald. She's amazing, very talented. A pink and blonde light. Um, love her to death. Um, my thoughts on the state of the strike, come back to the table, AMPTP, please come back to the table. We need to deal with AI. Um, it's important for everyone, not just actors and writers, but um, we, need to, we need to come back with real solutions. So please, please, um, let's get busy and get back to work. Um, in the meantime, please don't cross any picket lines. Please honor the strike and support the strike if you agree. Um, Please signal boost and um, voice your support because we need it. Um, and uh, I have met Cree Summer. She and I worked side by side uh, uh, on a the Wonder Woman animated film that I was Dr. Poison in. So, um, hi, Codename Kids Next Door, watching from Atlanta, Georgia. Hopefully I will be in Atlanta soon. Um, uh, let's see, what else do we have? Um, just trying to see. Okay, I'm looking for the VIP ones and then we'll knock out. I think that's the rest of the VIP. So we're going to go ahead and get to Darren, who has gotten my amazing Ron Chan print. The artist is Ron Chan, who did Jack from Mass Effect 3, and where her tattoos are, there's a little uh, boat, which is very cool. Um, it's one of my favorite prints of all time. This is for Darren. Darren 
would like, let's see, to Darren. Um, Darren likes a popular quote. Darren likes, so fuck you and thanks for asking. Um, love Jack, and that's me, Courtney Taylor, and then we do the little skull and crossbones right here. There you go, Darren, that is for you. Thank you so much. Fun fact, um, proceeds from this print go to my side project, nerdsvote.com. If you um, bought anything today, you will get a couple of Nerdsvote stickers as a thank you from me. This is our new adhesive patch. You can actually peel it off and just stick it on something or you can sew it on. It's a three by three Nerdsvote patch that's now available on nerdsvote.com. And I am super excited about it because I want everybody to make sure that they vote let your voice be heard, let your choice be heard, and, um, uh, you know, make sure that you are voting in every election, every time, um, and spread the word. So thank you very much, Darren, for purchasing that. Um, uh, you can go on nerdsvote.com and check your registration. You can pre-register if you're under 18 and, um, get ready, get ready. Hi, Charlie Overby. Um, uh, extremely talented hat maker. Um, so great. Uh, throw your hat making goodness into the chat if you feel like it, Charlie. Um, it's really nice to see your name. I hope all is well with you. Um, Lone Hawk Hats is the company. You can follow them on Instagram and they are amazing. Um, beautiful, beautiful hats. Uh, I think Cree Summer is a big fan, actually, speaking of Cree Summer. So um, that beautiful hat that she wears, she wears a few. And I believe, I hope I'm not wrong, but I believe that um, uh, uh, Lone, Lone Hawk hats are the makers. Lisa, I did not make, uh, so Reagan's, Reagan's uh, print is to Reagan. Oh no, it is, oh my God. Guys. This is what happens when you don't have enough coffee. Hold on. Let me redo it. Because I was talking. This is why I need a lovely assistant. <clears throat> Zelda. Um, okay. So lame. To Reagan, I will destroy you. Kidding. Um, love Jack and her dumb VA who was not paying attention on the first one. <laughs> um, and then there you go. Corrected it, Lisa. Thank you. Um, uh, and I'm still putting your secret message. Lisa is the bestest friend. On the back. Ta-da! Also, this will come to you. Um, so let me go ahead and do a ceremonial um, ripping of this one. Whoops! Actually, I probably just should have sent that to you, Lisa. Sorry. Um... I don't know if they'd know how to get to you. Anyway, there's more on the pile of garbage now. Um, let's see. Have I been to Momocon? No, and I would love to go to Momocon. I have been to Dragon Con. I hopefully will be returning to Dragon Con at some point. Um, and, uh, but I hear wonderful things about Momocon. So um, yeah, anytime Momocon, if you want me, I'm there. Um, let's see. I do have KO prints. I have a beautiful pink, I have the standard um, promo. Hold on, let me go. Wait, I might have one here. Hold on, wait. It's really hard for me not having a lovely assistant 
so I can't, you know, jump around too much. But I'll show you my KO print. Hold on, I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. Hello. I have fresh pack. This is the KO art, the official art from Cartoon Network. Um, so yes, <sighs> that's available for the next couple of minutes. Um, what's one project or game that if you had the chance to be on, you'd go for it? I mean, uh, gosh, like it, there's not many that I don't want to be on, honestly. I'm always excited to have opportunities to like work on new characters and franchises. Um, I would, I would, I always say I would love to be a Disney princess if they want a punk rock princess, but other than that, and I can't really sing, but um, a Disney princess that rides a skateboard and can't sing, I think would be excellent and listens to punk rock music. Come on, let's do this. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, variety is the spice. Is the spice. Let's see. Um, um, oh, Dr. Hassoon, be a fan of Ada Wong. Just because the voice, the voice actors have changed, it doesn't mean that the character's not super cool. Um, and, you know, there's lots of projects that you can listen continuously to me or Sally. Um, so, uh, I mean, obviously, up to you. But, um, you know, I just think the character is still such a great character. So, um, let's see. Yes, Malik, I see your uh, questions in the box. I, I, can't, I can't do any podcasts right now. I have other stuff going on. So, um, that is unfortunately the state of it right now. But I wish you the very best in getting it off the ground. And hopefully um, we can circle back around soon. I'm going to run out of battery on my iPad. And hi, Adventure Renee. Um, and... Um, Let's see. Um, we did Darren's, right? Um, Chumps in the pool who cosplays Leon Kennedy. Excellent. Hello. Thank you for cosplaying, you guys. Everyone who does cosplay, you have my heart. Um, and thank you, Cobra Ash. Uh, you have my heart because I so appreciate all your creativity and all the love that you guys put into things. And I want to cosplay something. And I can't decide what. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, this one's going to be for Breeze Rose, which is a very pretty name. Breeze Rose would like, shit, you sound like a pussy on her print. So, <laughs> um, this one's for you, Breeze. You sound like a pussy. <laughs> love. I always do love to write Jack's <laughs> lines and then just be like, mm -hmm, like, like, fuck your feelings. And then just be like, mm -hmm, love Jack. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, let's see. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. To Breeze Rose. Shit, you sound like a pussy. Um, Adventure Renee has Jack's sleeve tattooed on her arm or their arm or his arm. That is so fantastic. Um, please put po uh, post pictures on, on Twitter or Blue Sky. If you're on Blue Sky, I am finally on Blue Sky um, and we'll be migrating over there, hopefully. Um, uh, 
please post them because I love reposting artwork and tattoos and cosplay. So hi, Georgie. Um, this is for Keller. Keller also got the Jack Mass Effect 3 vote, um, nerds vote support photo um, or print actually. Um, uh, this is for Keller to Keller. Uh, dead is dead. There's no such thing as a good way to go. Dead is dead. There's no such thing as a good way to go. Um... Love. Courtney Taylor, that's me. Jack, that's also kind of me. And here we go. There you go. This is for Keller from a friend and um, it's a real cool little gift. So that is complete. Um, speaking of artists that I support, um, this is from Michael Frazier. This one, I love this little pinup action. Um, let's see, greetings from the wasteland. Yes, this is going to Samantha, but it's not made out to anyone. So Samantha, this is for you. Um, from the Wasteland. For female. So I do this little fallout for female so you know that it's the female player character. Um, and uh, that is going out to Samantha. Thank you so much for that. Um, let's see. Grant, are you here? Grant, are you here? If you are here, identify yourself in the um, chat, please. Please. Um, oh, B. Marvizi, please vote. I mean, I'm not going to change your mind, of course, but, you know, you can't complain if you don't vote. And so many of these... Uh, these races are decided by just a few votes. It's so important, like a handful of votes, like eight votes, a hundred votes, 500 votes. Like it just makes a difference. It does. Um, so please reconsider not voting, you guys. It's, it is, this is how democracy works. This is how democracy works. Um, it's just like you guys being in the chat here and asking me questions or asking me to do something or talk about something like that is you voting for something. It works. It's instant democracy. So please think about that and think about the world that you want to live in. And if you have children, you know, what you want them to live in, because, um, you know, this is, these are the choices we're making. And when you don't vote and you don't vote in local elections, I mean, you can't really complain about like, crime in your neighborhood or how the streets are messed up or, you know, the school districts or anything that matters to you or, you know, the roads you drive on, the public transportation you take, all of that stuff is really affected by voting. It says who's going to make the rules. It says where's the money going to go. So please, please go to nerdsvote.com. Really consider making your voice heard. Um, we need your opinions. We need your heart and your soul and your brain to help run this country. So it, it matters. Um, um, uh, let's see. Okay, Apple Juice uh, Grant, I'm so sorry. You wanted a Mass Effect Foundation cover and the last one went out and I didn't realize it. And I so I feel absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, so if there's another print that you want, I'm so sorry, but if not, I will order some more. I did not realize we were out and I will get that to you. So please put it in the chat if you would like 
what you would like me to do. I have other um, prints if you want to pick something out. Um, but if you want to wait, I honestly will, um, uh, I will let you know as soon as I get them in. I feel so bad. Um, you can even, uh, 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 if you want to like DM me on social media um, and give me your email address, I can let you know when they're back in stock. Um, you can go to info at CourtneyTaylor.com and let me know that this was the problem and I will make sure that you get what you asked for because I... I feel terrible. I just have been out of the groove of doing lives and doing signings and stuff. So I'm so sorry. Um, hi, Albert. Um, and yes, David, I know we had a conversation on uh, about voting in Tanzania. And I think, you know, a lot of places you're not allowed to vote or it's very difficult to vote. So don't take your rights for granted. Um, and yes, Ohio, I actually was doing some postcarding for Ohio, so you guys have a special election coming up on Tuesday, and if you are in Ohio, please, please, please get out and vote. Um, uh, issue one is what is happening, um, and it's very important, and I, for one, I'm going to say vote no on it, but it's up to you, um, but uh, please, Ohio, get busy, get busy and in San Diego, and in Tanzania, um, and everything. Um, yes, yes, Grandmaster DS, your vote, your vote is your voice, and that is great. And Georgie, Florida, so important to vote, right? There's a lot of things happening, um, and uh, uh, we all need to, we all need to pull together. We all need to row, we're all in this boat together. We all need to row. So, um, uh, so thank you um, for, um, just doing some, doing some research to get together with friends. And you know, if there's a lot of stuff on your ballot, sit around, have like, uh, you know, snacks, drinks, whatever, and you know, do the research so you guys can talk about it. And then go vote and then go out to dinner or go play D&D &D or, you know, um, whatever it is that you like to go take a walk, you know, but go celebrate the fact that we, you know, in my dreams, we um we have a day off to vote and it's like thanksgiving and you get together with your friends and family after you vote and you celebrate the fact that we uh you know we have had this ability so that's what i'm hoping but um so grant again um info at courtneytaylor.com please let me know My, i I, I grovel to you because um i hate disappointing people and i know that you're here and it makes me sad so um uh, thank you guys so much for showing up. And if you have any other questions, I'll hang out for a couple more minutes. Um, uh, Barbie movie, great movie. Not really gonna talk too much about anything as we're striking, but um, yeah, important stuff there. Um, um, JP Karliak is here, you guys, what? He is my partner in crime on Nerds Vote. And once again, this is our little three by three adhesive patch. Like literally all you have to do is just peel off the backing and stick it on something. I don't think you can wash it after that, but, um, or you can sew it on like a regular patch. I'm so excited about this. And it's like four bucks on the Nerds Vote site. Um, if you got anything today, you will get Nerds Vote stickers. Um, and I am excited to pass those along to you. Please make sure that you are registered, getting out there and voting, um, drinking lots of water because it's hot. Uh, like that. If you're interested in taking a class, I will be doing one with Strawberry Hill Music at the end of September. So you can check them out, Strawberry Hill Music online. I so appreciate you guys. Um, just thank you for coming, showing up. If you get a chance to go see Taylor Swift, I was not a uh, Taylor, I'm not a Swifty, but, um, I went to the church of Taylor Swift last night and I am now a believer. I mean, I liked her stuff before, but it was a really great show. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, thank you. Thank you guys. Um, much love to all of you, Zachary and, uh, NLS, NVL, CRT, Brittany, thanks for being here. Dennis, Georgie, 
Malik, Grandmaster DS, David, uh, uh, Demoni91, JP Karliak, my love, my bestie, um, and everybody else who showed up. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, and I will see you soon. Hopefully I will jump back on the Instagram soon. You can follow me on Blue Sky, um, my name, you know, with the Blue Sky ending. And um, uh, still on Twitter sometimes, at Courtney Taylor. Instagram, obviously, at Courtney Taylor LA. And um, I just, I really appreciate you guys. And here is one last, I just want you to know, you guys are awesome. Starla from Regular Show is in the house. And I just wanted to send you a lot of love because you're so cute. Um, mwah, mwah, mwah. Have a great Sunday, make good choices, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.